Hey guys, it's Lily LPS here, and today's video is a bit of a sit and chat with me kind of a video. In my most recent video, I announced that I was attending LPSCon Online 2020. And today was the day of LPSCon. It was so much fun, and I thought in this video I would reflect and talk to you guys about what happened and my thoughts on it. Today is the 12th of July and I started off waking up really early just to make sure I made it to the panel since it was at 2 o'clock Pacific time in the afternoon and for me that means getting up early enough to attend a 9am panel. Luckily I woke up around 7, got ready and I went on the Zoom call on the fashion show. I just wanted to see what it was like and people's experiences. And then after that, we talked on the Discord server, on the chat rooms, which was super fun. On the Discord server, there was a bunch of different settings and chat rooms where there was the schedules, the Zoom links, there was a bunch of conversations happening between the attendees, trading, all that jazz. And when 9 o'clock came around, 10 minutes beforehand, we met up on the Zoom call and all the VIPs, which was LPS Flash TV and Puppy Love 863, as well as myself and LPS Gogo. We just talked about what we were going to be doing on the Zoom call because the day before, which was yesterday, we had an hour call preparing for LPSCon. So we knew what we were going to do and how Zoom worked because believe it or not, yesterday was my first time ever using Zoom because we use Teams for like online learning. Yesterday we just prepared going through the questions and what it would be like on the panels as well as planning out the panels and getting our questions answered about if we had any thoughts or queries about what would happen in the event. So at 9am we had the workshop panel with me, Splash and Puppy Lover as well as LPS GoGo hosting it and asking us the questions. Had some, and we just answered some of the questions. Some were directed at some of us and not others, and vice versa. There was questions like advice for LPS tubers, what's a good editor, what editor do you use, do you script your videos, things like that, so people could get an idea about what we used and about us actually making the videos. And it was like a workshop on what to do and how to make videos, kind of thing. And then in the last 10 to 20 minutes on the Zoom call, we actually got the awesome opportunity to hear some of your questions and we answered your personal questions about what you wanted to know about being an LPS trooper. Then the workshop wrapped up since it was only half an hour and then we went on to the LPS Jeopardy game, which the VIPs weren't involved in, it was just an attendees thing. But I heard it was really fun and I didn't have the time to go on to it because I was just having a bit of a break off of like social media. And then the time came around for the second Zoom call, which was at 12.30 in my time zone, which was like 5.30 Pacific time. And it was and it was based around like a Q&A. We originally planned on just us getting asked questions by LPS GoGo and 10 minutes at the end or 20 minutes at the end for your questions. But we decided to change it around so we got to hear some of your personal questions since we thought that would be more interactive and you would feel more of a connection with that. So that was cool to hear all your questions for what you wanted to know about us and more of us about a creator and what we plan on doing as an LPS tuber and further on and like more about us as the creator which was really cool to hear and then the whole time we were just getting questions from you guys it was so since like there was a hundred viewers at the time that was so cool and we just answered the questions and we had our face cams on and our microphones on and when people wanted to ask us the questions they would get unmute and the camera would turn on and then they would be asking us. It was like a FaceTime group chat. It was, it was so awesome. I really enjoyed getting to hear from the viewers and what people wondered about being an LPS tuber. And before the call we had like a 10 minute and 10 minutes before the call actually started on Zoom. We just had a plan and went over like what we were going to be doing on the call since we wanted to be all prepared and like talk to each other beforehand and on our messaging group chat we like talked about what we were going to do and our plans for it. I had such a great day today, it was so much fun even though it was virtual it was still so much fun to talk to you guys and I really seriously can't wait for 2021 LPS Con if that is possible because I will hopefully be attending that one IRL. It's still unconfirmed, nothing's planned. I'm just hoping to go. It's just a want of mine in the future because I think it'll be so cool to meet you guys in person and it'll just be fun to make new friends and all that. So this was the setup I had for the call since I didn't show my face. It was a thought of mine to show my face on the call. I even like planned on doing a whole face reveal, but I'm not ready for that yet. 
Maybe in the future I will do a face reveal, like before next year's LPS Con, if I end up going, I will most likely be doing a face reveal, but as of right now, I'm still not feeling comfortable enough about doing that. I'm sure you guys understand that, since there's lots of LPS tubers who are yet to do face reveals, so I just feel like right now is not a good time for me to do that, since it's quite a big step in LPS tubes, so I hope you guys understand that. So here's the setup I had. I have like a clipboard behind me I got for Christmas a couple years ago and it's just got my name on it and things. And then I've just got a few bits of furniture and accessories around. Like the bunting flags fell down and I've just got my lens cap to kind of make it more personal. And this magazine was there but it kind of fell down. Then we have a table over here with a few things on. This is where my LPS was and a few more accessories like a camera to bring in the whole LPS tuber thing. And next to that I had some LPS in case some of the characters were going to get asked questions or anything about LPS where we did get questions about which our favourite LPS were and our mascots and things like that. So those are some of the LPS I just had out just in case. Beforehand there was a live stream on YouTube but I was not awake early enough to attend that and I didn't attend the raffle either but I'm so happy for those who won the raffle prizes. I hope you enjoy the LPS you won and have fun using them in your collection and I just hope everyone who attended LPSCon had a good time because I think it was really fun. It was so awesome getting to talk with like my viewers, newer people and like people I look up to in the LPS community. Like it was so awesome getting to meet LPS Splash TV and Puppy Love 863 through a call and getting to know more about them because I've only ever messaged them so it was cool to actually get a video chat with them since they're really nice people and, oh, such, and such talented, talented creators. creators. Like if you want to subscribe or follow them, their links will be in the description. As well as LPS GoGo, -Go. man she's so talented. She's such a nice person. Completely has like respect for all the attendees as well as like the people working alongside her. Such a nice person and so good at organizing this. She's just so good at what she does and I'm so grateful to have been a part of the team of the VIPs and it was just such a wonderful experience. I hope everyone who went had a wonderful time as well and I hope you enjoyed seeing the panels and workshops that I was in. Yeah, I just had such a great day today, like I'm being, and I highly recommend going to LPSCon because it is such a well organized event and everyone a part of it is loving what they're doing and really excited for the whole experience. It's just such a nice way for the community to be brought together and to kind of be one as a community. Here are some clips from LPSCon, I'm not going to show all of them, I didn't get to record my own panel but I didn't get to record the Q&A, I recorded some of the workshop and some of the things on LPSCon so I could have some memories as well as you guys could get a bit of an idea of what happened but I thought it was fair for the people who bought tickets remain that experience to be within LPSCon. I wanted it to be worth going so I didn't want to put my panel online. Uh, sure, um... I also asked you on Instagram some questions you had about LPSCon yourselves so I could tell you a bit about it and what you guys want to know for those who didn't or did go or wanted to ask me questions that you didn't get to ask on the panel. So let's get started. The first question is from PuppyLover863. She asks, what was your first reaction when you were offered to be a panelist? I honestly couldn't believe it. Like last year I had major FOMO from LPSCon, like all the stories, it looked so incredible. Like the cake from the raffle, from the banquet night to the trading, it was just like phenomenal what 
was happening at LPSCon. And then I just knew, I was like, I want to help in some way. So, and I ended up being able to go to LPSCon. It was just such a surreal moment when I found out I had the opportunity to go to LPSCon IRL as well as online. So I'm just so thankful. The next question is from Rosebud underscore LPS underscore official. Do you remember me being there? Of course I do. I remember you asking a question. Your question was awesome and I appreciate you coming. Like it was so much fun talking to you guys and interacting with all the viewers. And she also asks, and I loved your set with the trees. Oh, thank you so much. This is the exact set that was there. I just wanted to make it more festive and fun. And yeah, so this is the set I had. LPS May TV asks, I did go, but I want to ask this. What was the LPS tuber you grew up watching? That's such a good question. I grew up watching many different LPS tubers. I'm still a kid, so I mean, I watch Lulu's videos 220 and LPS Chib. I love their videos, as well as like LPS Lover, Puppy Lover 863, LPS Hannah, LPS Ace, and just lots of different people. Like, there's lots of LPS tubers I liked watching but are no longer a part of the community, like Miranda Spaniel Films. 123 Chamomile, like, oh, so many great LPS tubers. The next question is from lps.bluejay.official. She asks, was it hard to set up such a project like this? And to answer your question, I wasn't really involved with the setting up of LPSCon. I really admire the people who did work on the Discord servers and setting up the Zoom links and the whole event itself, but I didn't do much preparation for it apart from preparing for the Zoom calls and panels. So if you're asking was it hard to be a part of LPSCon, not really, it's just about commitment. Like. It's really just, if you want to be a part of it, you've got to put the hours into it since overall I probably worked on it for like 3-4 hours. Like on the calls, like in my own time, coming up in my own time thinking of responses. It's just how much you prioritise your time with LPSCon because it was really worth it in my opinion, but yeah, it's just a really good event to attend to. The next question is from LPS Neon Diamond underscore official. How did you find out about LPS Tube and why did you pick that pet to be your mascot? Well, first of all, I joined LPS Tube back in 2014, which is almost six years ago, like my six year anniversary is coming up, which is so exciting. I found LPS Tube from Lulu's Videos 220 series, Farfetched, which is a really good series, I highly recommend watching it, as well as LPS Chib, they really inspired me and their videos are awesome to watch, so yeah, if you want to watch LPS Farfetched, there will be a link in the description. Why did I pick my mascot? Well, I was doing this haul video of my first ever haul from eBay since I had never used it before to get LPS. So I unboxed one of them and this LPS was from Germany so I was really excited to get international LPS. So I saw this LPS and I was like, oh my gosh, I love it, I need this one to be my mascot. And then I decided to change my mascot from the blue bunny to this LPS and I have been super happy since. And I've added the flower crown to make it more unique to me and this outfit is just to dress up for LPS con. The final question is from Rainbow Cotton Candy Lover. They ask, are you planning on using what you learned with LPS Tube, and in brackets, voice acting, filming, etc. in the future? And to answer you, yes, in fact, at school I'm in a media class and I use all my knowledge from LPS Tube to make the videos and edit photos and posters and things. I wouldn't have been able to work at the ability I am at school without the whole LPS experience. Being an LPS tuber has taught me so many things and it's just such a wonderful thing because you get to learn so much about filmmaking as well as scripting, acting, pretty much the whole film process as well as like LPS gram with like with posting pictures, DMs, business, all those kind of things. There's just so many different rewarding things coming from LPS tube so I highly recommend if you want to become an LPS tuber, do it because it's so much fun and I'm planning on making a video series on everything you need to know to become an LPS trooper as well as the step-by-step -step process and knowledge I've picked up over the years of how to actually film a video, how to edit a video, how to customize, script, all those things, how to make a set, like there's so many things I want to make in the future so I've got many projects ahead. But as well as the future goes, definitely like, like I was saying on the LPSCon panel, 
I want to be in the film industry when I'm older. It's like a job area I want to go into, like the whole media area as well as like photographer, film editor, cinematographer, director, all those kind of roles I would love doing. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as well as learning about LPSCon and what it was like to be a part of the online panelists list and just about the whole experience of being at LPSCon online. Inform you, I will be posting videos more regularly. I just had a break. See you guys later. Bye!